Today, we look at the city of Owensboro, fourth largest city in the state of Kentucky, host of the International Barbecue Festival, and a warm and familiar home for many. However, there is a part of Owensboro that is more important than any of these things. Owensboro lies on the banks of the Ohio River. The Ohio River has been a part of Owensboro since the beginning. In 1797, a man named William Smithers settled the area around present-day Owensboro. The settlement was originally known as Yellow Banks, referring to the yellow color of the ground around the Ohio. Skip forward to 1814. The first boat to ever travel successfully upstream the Ohio passes by Yellow Banks. The voyage of the Enterprise spawned much more traffic on the Ohio River. Because of falls on the Ohio River, locks and dams had to be built to allow for increased river traffic, such as Dam 46, which was completed in 1926 near present-day English Park. Other boats have been especially important to Owensboro, such as two yachts owned by the Owensboro Ferry Company, the Messenger and the Inquirer. This riverboat, meant to travel between Evansville and Louisville, was called the City of Owensboro. The Ohio River has not always been a good part of our history. In 1913, there was a record flood that covered the downtown streets of Owensboro. Only 24 years later, another record flood hit Owensboro. The river crested at 54.85 feet, six feet above the flood in 1913. This flood is called the Great Flood of 1937. Today, history between the Ohio River and Owensboro is still being made. Local industries use the river to import and export products. These products mostly go through the Owensboro Riverport Authority. The Riverport ships many products such as fertilizers for local agriculture, aluminum for local manufacturing, and specific items like glass for Glenmore Distillery. Owensboro has many landmarks related to the Ohio River. The Glover Carey Bridge, locally known as the Blue Bridge, opened in 1940 and is still in use today. The River Park Center sits next to the river and the Blue Bridge. The River Park Center hosts many shows, concerts, and community events. A revitalization of Owensboro's downtown has made Smothers Park and the riverfront a very popular place. On the riverfront now lies the new Owensboro Convention Center. This is already being utilized for many community events.